Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys we have episode number 2 of our Cardiff City career mode. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's shown support on the video. It's reached over 10 plus likes. Uh, within the first 24 hours it got like over 60 views. Uh, that's like the most views I've ever had on like a career mode episode over the first day. Normally it takes like a, a few days or a week or a few months to bump up my um, views on the video but yeah yesterday great support no not yesterday uh, sorry whenever this comes out I don't know when this episode will come out just want to say a big thank you for that and uh, before we get into it if you could leave a like on the video as always that would be much appreciated comment your thoughts and opinions on the video down below and also more transfer suggestions I got a few in the last video uh, and on Twitter but I want I keep I want to keep getting them in just in case we do have a little bit left in the bank to buy some players because we are going to be doing a big spending spree right now so yeah comment like and also subscribe post notifications on so you don't miss an episode of any of my career mode or YouTube videos so guys with that being said let's get into this now first player that was uh, we're going to be attempting to buy right now is Ruben Loftus-Cheek now he was one of the uh, first names I seen, one when I um, uh, what's it called? When I looked at the comments on on the last video, uh, so he will be playing a cam role. Uh, now it said he's worth 11 million. Now I'm gonna offer 12.8, no 12.5, because obviously we don't have much money, and that takes us straight down to 26. So I'm gonna offer that. They're probably gonna want way more than that. Oh no, they don't. Okay, sell on clause five percent. A 10%. I'll accept that. I'll happily take that. Okay. Right. Can we get Loftus Cheek at Cardiff City on a permanent deal? Not a loan deal like all the other Chelsea loanies. A permanent deal. Right. Uh, he'll probably want an important role. I, I guess. Maybe a crucial. Oh, crucial. I mean, he probably will get it. He probably will get it. So I'm happy to give him that. Uh, accept five year deal. That's perfect to me. No release clause, which is fine with me as well. He's going to want a lot of wage, so that's the only problem. Uh, right, let's get rid of your goals. Signing bonus. Yeah, your wage can stay there. Wait, no. Yeah, wage can stay there. Let's just drop that down to 350. Uh, actually, let me just bump that up a little bit. Let me take that off. And then give him give him 50. Yeah. I'm trying to even it out there. It's not quite what my client wants, but boom, he's in. That is the first signer. Now, before I go into the other transfers, uh, I'll quickly go over to the team. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to change the team around, I think, because obviously that means someone drops out and probably, yeah, I'm probably going to drop him out for Loftus-Cheek. I'll bring him back up here for now before I sort out the team. So, Loftus-Cheek goes there. Reed will probably drop out for now. We'll have him as a sub striker. So that's the team for now. We've got a left wing backup, striker backup, cam backup, another centre mid. Uh, I don't know why he's there. He can actually just slot back in there, to be honest. Okay, that's it for now. All right, we're going to save that. We're going to go straight back over to the transfer hub because we got we haven't we're not stopping there. We've got more more deals to make. Uh, the first one being this young centre back. Now he's only 62 rated, but he's uh, 20 age 20 20 years old. So what I'm thinking is we're going to bring him in, squad rotational player, start him in a few games, maybe some cup games, and then I'm going to uh, put him on the training. Now, normally I don't do training, but I think with him uh, it'll be really good to do. I'm going to try and do a player swap for this one. I'm going to try and get rid of one of my Deadwood strikers, you know, because I've got a load of strikers at the club. And like see someone like, someone like Danny Ward, I'm not going to use him. Let's see if they want a striker. We want to bring in a winger. Oh, okay. Offer other position. Hmm, wingers. I don't have many wingers. I don't think. No, I don't. Hmm, that is the problem. Hmm. What about Harris? Do you want Harris? Okay. Okay. Offer other position. Let's try fullbacks. I don't know how many fullbacks we have at the club. All right. Greg will be there. Joe Bennett will be there. Richard. Oh, this guy. I'm gonna. I was gonna sell. Let's see if they want him. Oh, they don't want him either. Uh, offer other no offer other player. Let's see if they would take. Um, oh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Let's try Richards. They want Richards. Nope. 
Oh my god, they literally don't want any of my players. Right, send, uh, no, let's go for the youngster. If not, we'll just have to put a money money deal in off our position. Centre backs, pff, we literally only have three. So, yeah. I'm going to have to do a money deal, lads. I'm going to have to do a money deal. I mean, he's not that expensive, so it's alright. Uh, I'm going to offer 609 to be awkward. Okay, 609 to be awkward. Let's see what they say. That's a fair offer. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's see if he wants to join the club then. He's left footed as well, which is really good. So I, I like that. Right, let's see if he will join. Um, hold to skip. Right, let's go. Prospect, obviously, yeah, that's fine. Prospect player, that's not too bad. Uh, four year deal, that's perfect because he's only 20. So that, that gives him a good. Uh, let me put a release clause on him for 12 million. I don't, he probably won't want that. 1.9, okay, I can just give him a new contract if anyone ever wants to thingy. Uh, that means we can make his salary lower. So obviously he had 2.5, or no, not 30. Uh, let's give him 3.3, and then a signing bonus of 48 grand. No, that's 47. Right, boom. Let's see if he takes that. That's a bump. That's a big increase. Nice. Let's go. Right, we're going to go over to the bench. Because obviously, Bamber and Morrison, they're probably going to be our starting centre backs for a while. So, if I bring him in to the side, do I put him on the bench? I think I put him on the bench to have the option. So, we've got a centre mid, a cam, a left wing, and striker as our subs, which is good. Um, obviously, keeping the left back there. Bennett's there. How old is Bennett? Just quickly check. 28. And Cunningham is 27. So, I'm going to actually play Cunningham. Uh, I don't know why he's not there. Patterson's a centre mid, but he can play right back. Someone actually said that in my comments but uh, in the first episode, so thank you for that. Because uh, He's only 23, so having him at right back would be great. Uh, it doesn't mean I have to go out and buy a new player. So we signed in Loftus-Cheek, Origi, and uh, obviously uh, Decore right now. Uh, I don't think we're done just yet. I'm probably done for this episode. Uh, actually, nah, you know what? I'm not, I'm not done. Three, three signings on the day. Obviously, you can see I've got keepers, centre-backs, and left-back as well. We're going in for Narsing. That's who we're going in for. We're going in for Narsing as a right-winger because I want him to start our games and have Mendes uh, Lang coming off, off the bench. So, what, what do we want? They want 5 million. I'm going to offer 4.1. 4.1. I don't know if they're going to take that. Oh, I think that's a fair offer. Okay, he's worth 5 million, but we actually managed to get him for 4.1. Wow. That is great. That is great. We've spent ages doing these transfers, but I'm happy with it. Right, let's see. Important player, yeah. The only problem is his wages are just going to be a bit expensive, but that's fine. Narsing till he's 30 at the club, that's fine. I think he'll be a really good player. I'm hoping he will be. I just I just don't know why. He's one of those players, like, everyone's, he's no, everyone's known him. All right, let's just drop that down a bit, mate. Um, wait, what does he? What did he want? Oh crap! What did he want? Yeah. Okay, I'll do that, and I'll give you, I'll give you that. Okay. Right. We're getting somewhere. You know what? I'm gonna give him that. I'm gonna give him that just to keep him happy. Right. There's another big signing, lads. That is a big signing. He's he's a well-known player. Him. Very well-known player. So, what I'm gonna be doing here? Is actually putting him into the starting eleven uh, ahead of Mendes Lang. Question is, where do I put where do I put him? I think Bennett just drops out for me. And I'll just have the one centre back as the sub. Uh, yeah, because obviously he's 29. He can come in as the backup midfielder. Um, and guys, that is the setup for now. Three new signings, which is very good. Uh, I'm looking into I'm looking to bring in a new keeper and maybe one more centre back because I think we've only got three centre backs at the club. Oh no, two, oh, but the other one's 52 rated. But uh, that's it for the transfers, guys. Um, I will see you guys in post commentary at the first game of the Premier League season against Bournemouth. I will be right back. Right, guys, I am back and welcome to this uh, first game of the season with Cardiff. We are away uh, to Bournemouth. Uh, there's the lineup. Uh, quick brief. Quick brief look at the lineup. Uh, pretty standard lineup, to be fair. 
Uh, didn't really change much apart from adding in the new signings. Uh, as you will see in a couple of seconds after the teams walk out. I don't show the whole highlights of that. As you can see here, look, two Cardiff players, debuts, Loftus-Cheek from Chelsea, Origi from Liverpool, 12.3 for Origi, and uh, another 12 million plus for Loftus-Cheek. I can see Loftus-Cheek there. He's got a decent little game face there. Obviously, his hair is shorter than that in real life now, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, guys, this is going to be the start of the game. Uh, first half, Loftus-Cheek plays it into Harry Arter. Harry Arter runs down the line. No, uh, through the middle of the pitch, plays it back to Loftus Cheek, gives it to Origi, and he drills it into the top corner there to get his to get a debut goal and his first goal for uh, the club. Uh, really nice play from uh, Loftus Cheek and Harry Arter there uh, to and eventually play the ball through to uh, Harry uh, to Vic Origi. Uh, here we picked up a free kick in the 25th minute. Uh, uh, I was gonna do some sort of custom tactic kind of thing, then I ended up just. Uh, doing like an L1 power shot with Hoylet, but it hits the wall. Uh, Bamba, I think that was at the back post, trying to put a header in, but they clear it out for a corner to us. Hoylet whips it in, we miss it at the front post, and we pick it up with Loftus-Cheek, who uh, plays a nice ball into Morrison. Morrison to Harry Arta, first time finesse. What a goal that is from Harry Arta, by the way. Really, really nice well work goal. Uh, obviously, straight from the corner, we were able to get the ball back uh, rolling into the middle of the park. Uh, as you can see there, lovely little one-touch, two-touch passing, and then what a finish that is from Harry Arter against his old club, uh, which I just remembered, so I only just added that in there. <laughs> but um, 45th, well, basically the 45th minute, uh, Bournemouth got the attack on the wing. Uh, the winger plays it into Josh King, cuts it back across to Wilson. He does a really nice turn to see uh, Bamber away there, and he drills it into the top corner there. Uh, really nice goal there from Callum Wilson, unfortunately. It's unfortunate for us because it, it just came at half time or just about to be half time, so it's kind of annoying. Um, uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Uh, we go up the other end with Narsing trying to get something happening here. Play out wide to Patterson, our right back. Play it into the side to Narsing. He whips a nice ball. Well, actually, not a nice ball. Whips a terrible ball in, and that's half time. So, decent first half for us in this first game of the Premier League season. Uh, as you can see, I, I just popped up the. I was going to pop up the stats, but then I didn't bother. But then. Uh, we move on into the 60th or so minute. Minute? <laughs> minute. Uh, Rigi picks up the ball here, plays it out to Narsing. Narsing's running down the wing, uh, cuts inside with a nice little uh, step over for drag back. Through ball to Loftus Cheek, he shrugs off the defender and drills it into the bottom corner. Really, really nice goal there from Loftus Cheek. Once again, another debut goal for a debut player. Uh, really, really nice goal there. And um, yeah, what can I say? Great goal. Great goal. Um, yeah, so that's 3-1 uh, up, 61st minute. We're strolling through this game now. Um, 85th minute here. Hoylet plays it into Loftus Cheek. He plays it back to uh, Rouse, who came on. Origi gets a really nice chance there for their shot, but he just puts it past the post. Loftus Cheek, Origi, and I think one of our centre mids came off there. Double, uh, triple substitution, but it doesn't matter. That was the end of the game. Played really, really well. And. Uh, yeah, it was a really good performance from the team. I was not expecting to win 3-1 in the first game away from home to Bournemouth. I'm going to move on into the uh, live commentary now with some more transfers for this episode. Right, guys, as you can see here, we've got a transfer offer for our striker. Um, obviously, 74, uh, 72 rated, uh, 24 years of old age. 4 million bid from West Brom. I'm going to accept that because I don't want him. I don't want him. And uh, as you can see, we've got so much scout reports back. Um, obviously... Um, we're going to uh, go in and see if we can get any of these players right now while I'm uh, doing this live bit uh, just because it's much easier Bobby Reed, I, I will play him I will play Rob Bobby Reed but yeah, as you can see from the last game it was uh, a very good performance from Origi now, going to the transfer hub we're going to see what we're rolling with here right? Okay, looking at the ratings of these players now, before I do this let me just check how much money I actually have 18 million, right? Let me just change that so I get a bit of wage. I'll probably get about 15 million, maybe, if we allocate that correctly. Okay, do that. 73, that's all right, that's all right. Um, right, if we go over to the transfers, obviously, and um, we're going to go to the players. We want to look at a new goalkeeper, I think, or a centre back. Bad Stuba, I was looking at because he did look quite a good player, but obviously, eight, 14 million release flaws. Felipe was another one. Uh, but his, his release score is quite cheap, and he's got a, he's not actually a bad rating. This keeper as well, I really am. I really I'm gonna go for this keeper, you know. I'm gonna go for this keep. I might go for two keepers here. 
what's his release clause? 16 million. But I reckon I can get him for cheaper, you know. Right, what we're going to do, go for this keeper and pay the 5.3 million for him. Because I've used him last FIFA and he was very good for me. So I'm going to use him again. He'll go straight in the starting lineup, by the way. Uh, and I'll, I'll train him up. Rotational, that's fine. We go down to 9 million, by the way. Three year contract, accept. Yes, that'll do. That'll do. Proposed release clause. Uh, we'll put 10 mil on him. See if he accepts that. 8.4, that's fine. That's fine. Accept that. Uh, okay, that will do. Boom. New keeper at the club, boys. New keeper at the club. Um, what we're going to do is go to the squad. Uh, go to the squad and actually drop Smiths to the reserves. Oh, didn't didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, I can just do it like this. And Smiths goes there. Dragovsky goes into the starting lineup. Uh, there's another there's another signing, really good signing there. Obviously, these two they're both what 27 and Bamba's 33. So looking at that, it's not actually that bad. Um, it's not actually that bad. Uh, we go back into save that. We're just going to go back quickly into he's obviously that new goalkeeper is a rotational player so what i might do with this nut bit of money left over is a potentially sign a high rated keeper like castilia don't have enough for him actually hmm bad stupid would be a good signing as well I've, i'm really tempted to try and bring bad stupid in but i don't have enough money for him felipe i'm gonna ignore you know what i'm gonna ignore these guys i think for the time being um so i'm gonna do that and let's just check yeah, I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, that's the team. So we signed Dragovsky. We signed uh, Narsing, Loftus-Cheek, Origi, and this young centre-back on the bench. So that is going to be the end of the video for today. Episode number two is complete. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the video. Uh, give me some more transfer suggestions. Looking at the squad right now, look at the start 11. Who could get swapped out? and replace with, for, with a better player. Uh, the bench is here, and then obviously the reserves is just a bit messed up. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Post notifications on so you don't miss an episode of any of my videos or career modes. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.